Hey guys, what's going on? So today, I'm finally gonna install my access port and um, what I'm gonna be doing is mounting it on the dash. So um, let me show you. So this vent right here, that's where I'm gonna be mounting my access port with this gauge pod that I picked up from SMY Performance. So pretty much it's just another standard vent which comes with this pod built in and this is like a little holder thing that plugs in right there at the top and this plugs into the back of the access port um, so I'll have it mounted right here um, we'll run the wires through the inside back here we'll go up here and through here so it'll be a nice clean setup so let's go on and get to it the first thing you're gonna need is one of these pry tools the interior pry tools so what you're gonna do is use this get into this corner right here and then just pry it up and then work your way around um, I need both hands for this so I went ahead and just popped it up so just be gentle um, this is pretty soft material right here so you don't want to scratch it um, so yeah just work your way be patient and once it pops up there's two clips there's one under here and there's one under here so if I pop it up you see there's that one pop clip here one clip here and then it just pulls right out this literally just slots right in there if you can see there's like that vent uh, piping that goes through and this just slots in so pretty much it's really easy you just have to be a little patient yeah so get one of these pry tools I'll list these tools in the description below I picked this up pretty much from Amazon it comes in a set I'm show you like this and it has like a whole bunch of things and it also comes with the c-click tool which is pretty much the reason why I went with this kit because this trust me it saves lives and saves a lot of time so yeah so that's the first step you're gonna want to remove this next thing we're gonna do is um, since you can't really see the wires with all this stuff in the place I'm gonna remove this panel right here um, remove this panel and then remove this panel so I can at least see where the wires coming up through at the end of the day we're gonna have the wire going in all the way from the inside and come through from this hole up here so to remove this all you need to do I'm gonna use that pry tool again uh, I need both hands so I'm just gonna stick it in towards the edge and then just try and pop it out and then I'll show you once I have it out so I literally stuck this in to the bottom corner right here and pulled it out and then once it's popped out you just want to carefully pop it out with your hand this weather stripping might be in the way so you just want to be very careful you're not gonna break anything just be gentle with it and pull it out and it should come right off next we're gonna use a Phillips head and get this screw out and then this panel sh as far as I know should just pop right out and then we'll have a uh, full access of what's behind here so we can see what the wire uh, where the wire is and like how we can get it up through there so I went ahead and removed this screw now the next thing to get this panel removed is there's a clip right here just want to press it in um, you can use your fingers for that once it's in this panel should just pop right off oh, uh, I guess it goes up till there so I'm just gonna be super careful uh, I'm gonna put the camera down I need both hands again for this just be careful the wire sh the weather stripping might be in the way so I'm just slowly gonna pull up oh, there we go and just be gentle with it I honestly don't know what's behind here and I don't want to break it so I think it goes all the way up here here and it's cut out so it should be just this part so I'm gonna try and pull it out see if that works Ooh, and there he goes just be careful because there's a bunch of wires behind here you don't want to um, rip anything off and then as you can see all your fuses are back here so now that we have that off uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the wire in for the access port down here the OBD sensors down here route it through the inside up here and try and figure out how to get it up through that vent hole and that's pretty much it um, so let me grab the wire and then we'll go to the next step all right guys so I have my OBD2 sensor end of the access port wire plugged into the bottom now I'm gonna feed this rest of the wire pretty much the end that plugs into the access port through here um, I don't know if you can see but um you'll be able to see it once you have it open you'll see there's a gap right through here uh, I don't even know right through here you can see the top you see that light that's pretty much the um, the light coming through that vent so I'm just gonna 
use both hands, uh, route it through, and then uh, we'll pick it up. So now I have the wire coming in through the top, pretty much. So I just got to figure out how much of the wire I actually need coming through uh, the vent. I'm going to use the hole through here, have it come out and plug in right here. So now all we got to do is clean this up. I'm going to fold this wire up and zip tie it and pretty much stick it in this side right here in a neat uh, bundle right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me clean this up, fix that down and have the wire come through there. And then that should be it. I wanted to show you guys before I put everything back together. So I zip tied all the wires here and it should slot right in here. And now I'm going to put this panel back first and then the side panel. And then I have the wire coming through that vent pod right there. Uh, I guess you could have it coming through there, but then I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. I haven't put this down in yet all the way. So yeah, let me get this cleaned up and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I have everything lined up. So it's pretty much just clips that pop in. You see here, there's clips up here, up here and all the way around. So literally just make sure this wire's not in the way. Um, stick it back up. You want to make sure you get this clip. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need both hands, but yeah, just pop everything back in. All right, guys, so I have everything put back in just this side. Uh, make sure all the clips are popped in. This is very important. Make sure this clip pops in. If this aligns, everything else will align. For the bottom part, you just want to. This is a separate panel right here. You'll see a cutout right here. So you just want to stick your hand in there and make sure you push this side in and pull this side. So then make sure this clip pops right in here. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, let me get it in focus, focus, is um, this weather stripping right here. This There's a little ledge part that sticks out. You want to make sure that the weather stripping goes over the top of it. Um, just to make sure, you know, everything is secure and in place. So I'm going to use my pry tool and um, get this weather stripping over all the plastic parts that are sticking out. And then we're going to put the screw back in and then pop this piece back in and we should be done. All right guys, so there you have it. Everything is put back together. This piece, this piece, um, all the wires are hidden behind here. As you can see, this is the final product. I still haven't pushed this in because I'm still playing with the wires, see where I want it to come out of, you know, which vent, because um, I don't want this one to be bending too much, but yeah, the access port is plugged in. It's pretty awesome. It comes, you know, you can swivel it up and down and yeah the good thing about this is install is super clean no wires running you don't have like wires all over your dash or wherever you choose to put your access ports out of the way but you can still view everything so yeah um that's pretty much how the install is it's pretty easy you literally have to take this panel out take that screw out um take the pop that clip pull this out plug it in just wire it through and you're done there you have it guys the install is pretty simple uh i haven't actually installed the access port yet so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now flash my car all that good stuff i won't be using the cob ots tune i will be using the map performance ma ma performance tune the stage 193 tune um if you don't know about it i'll leave a link in the description below talk to ian at ma performance great guy um i've only read good things about this uh tune so far in the forums and stuff um way better than the cop stage one map so if you don't know about it um you know if you go on the website i'll leave the link um you can see all the graphs and all that good stuff but yeah i chose to go with the ma performance map so i'm going ahead and install that right now and um yeah uh, i love this setup it's pretty awesome um i actually lucked out when i bought the access port i bought it used from a guy and i picked all the stuff up with it that he had as well for his access port. I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's super simple, it's super easy and clean, especially with the wiring, especially you saw how long the wire is. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I have some parts coming this weekend. So hopefully once I get those in, uh, I'll be making some more install videos. Um, I won't ruin the surprise, but uh, keep watching and yeah, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, see you in the next one. You know my love can hold you down